All right, welcome to your World Cup playoff semi-final match review. Now, straight off the bat, just want to say normally I try and be upbeat in these videos. Normally I try and be a little comedic in these videos, but there was nothing funny about tonight's match from a Scotland standpoint and there was nothing positive from a Scotland standpoint either. So just want to get that out of the way with. Um, people are saying, well, at least we lost to Ukraine. You know, it's good to see Ukraine. I don't give a fuck about Ukraine. I do not give a single solitary fuck about Ukraine, right? And fuck you too, Graham Soonis, you absolute traitor bastard. Go fuck yourself. Go get a Ukrainian passport. If you love Ukraine so much, why don't you go get a Ukrainian passport? I heard someone put like a bounty on Putin's head. Fucking fly over there, you prick, right? Because you're no, you're no longer welcomed or wanted in Scotland. Just might put that out there right away. Um... I don't think Steve, I don't think Steve Clark should leave. I don't think he should be fired or sacked or anything like that. But he owes us an apology. Steve Clark owes us an apology. Why did I say that? Because we saved the worst performance under his leadership for tonight. This was by far the worst performance we have seen from Scotland since Steve Clark took over. And it is when we needed one of our better performances. We didn't need our best performance tonight, but we needed a good performance. And did we get it? Did we fuck? We got nothing tonight. We were absolute shit. 20 minutes from time, we put a bit of pressure on Ukraine. We looked like we could maybe score a couple of goals. But we weren't even good in the last 20. If we're being completely honest, it's just because we pressurised Ukraine. Our goal came from a mistake for the goalkeeper, who was pish. But for some reason, we wouldn't test the goalkeeper. Every time we would put a cross into the box or a corner, we'd get whipped into the box. We were doing outswingers instead of inswingers towards the goalkeeper. When the guy looked so fucking uncomfortable, he didn't look... He looked fucking shit. He looked like a hand grenade. He looked like butter gloves. He looked like he would fucking concede a goal at any minute and he conceded a goal for our goal so why not put him under more pressure but no we kept fucking hitting balls to Grant Hanley who's never going to find a target I mean Grant Hanley I don't, I don't want to see Grant Hanley in defence never mind fucking up front trying to score a goal <sighs> let, let, let's go let's go through the start but yeah no, Steve Clark you, you owe us an apology man that, that was fucking horrendous and Andy Robertson captain material I think not deleting your twitter over mean tweets I wouldn't see if you see if you were a big lefty bastard, right, with mental health issues. That wouldn't bother me so much if on the big occasions you could step up. But did you step up tonight? No, you stepped on dog shit. You were fucking pish. Second half, constantly giving the ball away. Even towards the end of the game. We need a goal and he's fucking losing the ball. When we've got about two minutes to save our World Cup dreams, it was embarrassing. Fucking buff. Kieran Tierney is better than Andy Robertson, right? Kieran Tierney, 100%. Kieran Tierney is better than Andy Robertson. I tell you what. As bad as Hickey was in the second half, he was a he was a lot better. I mean, as bad as he was in the first half, Hickey was a lot better in the second half, and he was better than Robertson tonight. But I, I'll talk more about the players individually and our players' ratings because I, I don't want this video to go on two hours. And the way I feel right now, this this would go this would go on longer than the match because. I've not got a lot of positive things to say, but I've got a shitload of negative things to say about half of this team. Half this team, fucking all the team. Let's be real. There's only one player that could hold his head high tonight. And he conceded three goals. You know what? And it's not his fault he conceded three goals. But yeah, Craig Gordon. Fuck, if it wasn't for Craig Gordon, if we didn't have the best goalkeeper in Scotland. I know he's Scottish, so yeah, he's likely to be the best goalkeeper. But if it wasn't for Craig Gordon... This match would have been over at half time, but in fairness, the way we played, it was pretty much over from kick off. But let's go through it. Ukraine have the first bit, you know, first chance. Two, 10 minutes in, they had two players booked already, by the way. And I thought, mate, could we not have made more of that? Could we not have turned it into a more physical game? Maybe try and get them sent off. Not too sure. And also, one more thing before we actually talk about the match. These Ukrainians are pathetic. I mean, they cry all day about their country being invaded 24-7. My country's being invaded. My, my people in my country are being killed. Right? And that sucks. 
But then tonight, they're, they're lying on the ground, they're rolling about as if they've been shot, they're faking injuries, pretending they're hurt to waste time. That's fucking embarrassing, that's pathetic. You're telling me your countrymen are dying in a war, and you're rolling about a football pitch trying to pretend you've got a sore toe? Go fuck yourself, you sad bastards. And I, I, I thought, oh, oh, all the all the um, adult men, all the men aged 16 and above had to be in Ukraine fighting on the front. Well, <laughs> why are they all here? Why, why are they here in the crowd? Why? They here, why they here on the pitch rolling about like a bunch of pussies, man? You tell me that right now. Anyway, Ukraine started off the better. Craig Gordon forced into a good save after Yurimachek, whatever he's called. It was, a, it was a really good save for Craig Gordon. Not long after that, he had to pull off maybe an equally better save. Now, they're saying the Ukrainian striker didn't connect properly, but, I mean, the ball was, it was about seven yards out. And Craig Gordon managed to save it with his shoulder. The ball kind of went underneath him, but he managed to get up and, uh, you know, jump back on top of it. So, we're like 20 minutes in here, and, and Craig Gordon has made two great saves. I mean, two quality saves from Craig Gordon. Uh, two, I mean, could have easily been 2-0 there. And then they did get their first goal, and it was embarrassing. The, the, the defending, non-existent. Five people in defence. I mean, we may as well have had zero in defence here. And Steve Clark, he picked the wrong players tonight. Hickey was better in the second half, but he should not have started. Stephen O'Donnell should have been on the right. And how the fuck Scott McTomney continues to get in teams, I don't know. We've got John Souter, had arguably the best season of his career. Big move to Rangers. Yeah, <laughs> played a big part. Played a big part in fucking phones going. Played a big part in them um, hearts, you know, getting third, making a Scottish Cup final. Whoever's phoning me, fuck off, man. Um, yeah, so that, you know, then with Scott McKenna, Aberdeen, massive, yeah, no, Scott McKenna, Nottingham Forest, sorry, gets promoted to the Premiership. Two seconds, guys, I'm going to absolutely explode here. Right, as I was saying, um, Scott McKenna, you know, big season, just got promoted to the Premiership with Forest, arguably had the best season of his career too. I mean, two good, young, promising Scots that will probably be the future of our defence for years to come. Did they start tonight? No. Scott McTomney, a fucking shite reject who's getting played out of position. <laughs> we don't want him in, in midfield. He's shite in midfield. So why put him in defence? Seriously, why put him in fucking defence when anyone else there would have been a better choice? Scott McTomney shouldn't be in defence, shouldn't be in midfield, shouldn't be in the fucking squad because he's that pish, right? Fuck Scott McTomney. Fuck Steve Clark for picking him. Um, anyway, the back five, terrible, but uh, it's, a simp it's, a, it's a good pass from Ukraine, but uh, I mean, it's a simple ball over the top and it beats five people, and then he chips Craig Gordon, I mean, I think it was, was it Hanley or Cooper, I can't, I think it may have been Cooper, Cooper played them onside, but Andy Robertson is, obviously, he is down on the left-hand side and he can see straight across the back line, he can see that this guy's onside and he doesn't chase him he doesn't follow he, in fact he pushes up it was actually grant hanley who played him on side because cooper was almost in the fucking midfield i don't know what cooper was doing but another guy that i would not have picked tonight it, it, it's this it's, it's the premier league favoritism mctomney plays for united so he must get picked liam cooper plays for united uh plays for leeds so he must get picked just because you play the premiership does not mean you're good it does not mean you're good. You can you can be you can be a passenger. You can play for a good team in the Premiership and be fucking shite. It's as simple as that. And I tell you what, Cooper and McTomney are fucking shite. But yeah, no, it was, it was Robertson then who who never tracked back. Don't know why it was Hanley who played them on side, and it was one 0 Ukraine, and uh, it wasn't good. We get into half time. I'm thinking Steve Clark's going to make changes because all we did in the first half was really punt balls up to London Dykes and that wasn't really working for us and it's no fault of London Dykes I don't think because I mean you're at, you, you're asking a lot of him what do you want to do punt balls up to Dykes and for him to you know control it on the chest turn around and hit smashing follies to 40 yards is that what we're expecting for Dykes I don't think so uh first half was shit I mean Hickey was terrible in possession couldn't do nothing with the ball uh, Craig Gordon was the best player by far I mean Andy Robertson had a decent first half Apart from the goal that we conceded, but by God, did he, <laughs> he, 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 he tried his best to score a zero overall based on the second half performance he did. We get into the second half, Steve Clark makes changes. Now, I agree, changes needed to be made, but when you're losing and you take off a striker 
for a midfielder. Now, I understand you want to get more bodies in the midfield. I totally get that, but it's it's hard to get behind that that change. It really is when you're taking off a striker. You you take you have when you're having one less striker on the pitch when you're losing a game. I I just cannot comprehend that. But yeah, I took Dykes off for Christie, and it, it fucking first twenty minutes it didn't change much. Ukraine actually scored a, a pretty early goal. Uh, the defending was again non-existent. Hickey and McTomney, you can blame either one. You can probably blame blow, uh, both there, and you'll be you know you'll be right. Uh, so yeah, both Granley, Grant Hanley tried to clear it off the line, couldn't do nothing, and Ukraine had a two 0 lead. Uh, we we push players forward. We bring on Stuart Armstrong, who I don't know why this guy has ever been picked again. You know, it was one thing costing us that goal against England, but his performances in the Euros were fucking horrendous. Why is Stuart Armstrong? He's always like the first go-to guy. I know Clark brought on Christie first tonight, but it's normally always Stuart Armstrong. Why? Why do we consent? Why do we? Uh, are you telling me we don't have players that are capable? Is Stuart Armstrong the only player we've got? I mean, I would, why not give a chance to Turnbull or a chance to Lewis Ferguson? Come on, give a give a chance to fucking somebody. I'm sick of seeing this. I'm sick of seeing Stuart Armstrong. I don't want to see him again. I don't want to see him again. I don't. I don't think I want to see any of these players again. But yeah, now nah, with twenty minutes to go, we know we, we tried. We pushed. I thought John McGinn was shit tonight, man. I, I straight up thought McGinn had a shocker. Uh, we got away back into the game. Their goalkeeper. I think it was a shot from. Callum McGregor or it wasn't even really a shot he was just trying to hit it forward and the keeper it went through his hands and it just barely went over the line so that was good got us back into it just false hope though you know 12 minutes to go uh, after that we had a few long balls up unfortunately it was Grant Hanley winning the header on most occasions and you know <laughs> Grant Hanley couldn't get a header on target uh, Ukraine did break on the counter several occasions well, they could have added to their tally, could have put the game to bed. Kalmak did a great job, you know, running back, making a making a challenge. Um, there was times, not a lot of time left, and there was so many times where we were trying to play it from the back, and we ended up losing it. I think Robertson done that several occasions. Uh, McTomney done it. It was like, Jesus Christ, we don't have a lot of time here. You just need to hit the ball up the park, man. As soon as you get it, hit it up. You can't take you know, four or five touches with it and then fucking lose the ball because you took too long to get it played forward. And Barrison, um, yeah, no, we, we applied pressure. We, we you know, we did pressurise them, but that's because we were losing. And, and Ukraine was sitting back defending a lead. We weren't great in the last 20 minutes. Let's not get it twisted. And then, unfortunately, Ukraine go up. Um, they make it 3-1. We literally, the last kick of the game, looked questionable. Thought it was maybe offside, but it was on. And that was it. Ukraine win. Um, Sinchenko came on then, gave a press conference or whatever, post-match interview, fuck Sinchenko, fuck Ukraine, seriously. Um, I thought they were embarrassing tonight, rolling around on the pitch, pretending to be hurt when, you know, th their whole country is currently getting hurt or whatever, so, I mean, I thought that was lame. And, uh, nah, it's 24 years of heart, and I, I genuinely felt like we lied down to them tonight. The nothing else really makes sense. I can't explain why we were so bad tonight. It was almost, I mean, Graham Sooners came out and said he wanted Ukraine to win, and it, it, the way we played, it felt like we wanted Ukraine to win the night. So, yeah. No, what what did I say, guys? I'm fucking heartbroken. I mean, I, I genuinely thought we were going to win the night. And I thought we were going to do it comfortably because we've been so good as of late. I mean, what we're on a, like, what was it, was it, nine games or something unbeaten? And we've been playing well. We've actually been putting in really good performances against teams better than Ukraine. You know, likes of Poland, likes of Denmark. We've been, we've been playing really well as of late. And tonight, we just didn't do ourselves justice, and it's, it's sad. It is really fucking sad. So I think Steve Clark has to come out. He has to apologise. We were, and I don't want to hear nothing about Ukraine. I don't want to hear anybody say positive things about Ukraine. Oh, it's nice to see Ukraine. Fuck that. What, is, what would have been nice would have been to see Scotland turn up, right? And actually put in a good performance and get us into a final and take us to the World Cup after 24 years of heart. That would have been nice. The most loyal fans in the world. The fans that fucking back their country more than any other team in the world. You, know, you, you don't get better fans than Scottish fans. You don't. So I don't, I don't want to hear about, oh, well, at least it's nice for Ukraine or nice for this, nice for that. It does, that doesn't matter. What matters is we lost tonight 3-1. We're done. We're beat. Our World Cup dream's over for four years. That's what matters. So Steve Clark has to come out 
he has to apologise. I mean, he, he can admit that he, he, he made tactical mistakes, he, he picked the wrong selection, or he can just admit that we were shit tonight and we weren't good enough. I don't care, but he has to come out, he has to apologise, and he has to admit that tonight was not good enough, because it, it, it certainly wasn't. And, um, you know, that, that is pretty much it, guys. I hope, I hope Wales shag these bastards like sheep on Sunday. I really, really do. I don't think I've ever wanted Wales to win a game as much in my life as I do now. But I am sick. I am absolutely gutted. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I thought we were going to win the night, and we haven't. So, you know, it's, it's embarrassing. It really was embarrassing. And, uh, you know, Graham Soon is sitting there all smug. Fuck Graham Soonis, man. Fuck him. Absolutely fuck him. And, uh, aye, that's it. D didn't even feel like making this video, but had to be done. Uh, uh, I don't even know. Where do we go from here? Um, I don't know. I don't know. We've got the Nations League coming up soon. But, you know, the Nations... Honestly, not to be a defeatist, not to be negative, but... With the way the Euro format is now, I think it would be a massive failure for us not to qualify. If we can't be within the top 24 European teams in Europe, that's almost half. I mean, like, what's there, 53, 52 teams in Europe? If we can't be, you know, just above the top half of the teams in Europe, then that's embarrassing. So for me, and I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not going to be excited or I'm not going to be happy with if we qualify for the Euros, but for me, the way the Euros tournament is now, qualification is a minimum. That's a minimum expectation for a team like us. So yeah, I mean, to me, it's, you know, obviously I want to be in the Euros, but the World Cup is the cream of the crop. The World Cup is hard to qualify for. And I actually felt like we will not have a better chance than this. I don't think... Well, we won two games against Ukraine and Wales. No disrespect to Wales, but I, I do believe we are superior. Uh, player for player, I think we are a lot better than Wales. I think Wales are solid. I think Wales are decent. They're, they're good side, but we're better. And we should, we're, we're definitely better than Ukraine, but we didn't show that tonight. And we won't have a chance to show it any other night because... Because uh, we fucked it right up, guys. So, um, yeah, there you go. That's it. Let me know what you thought of the match. I'll catch you in the next one. It's a shame. It's, it's sickening, actually. Anyway, until next time. Peace.